Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here welcome back to another video tutorial on data structures and algorithms in this video we're going to continue with our b tree topic and we're going to understand step by step the entire process of deleting a particular key in a b tree now for those who have missed the previous videos we've already discussed what is a b tree what is a mv search tree and we've already discussed the differences between them in fact we also started with the insertion process in the previous video of this dsa playlist so please guys watch those videos first without understanding what is a b tree and the difference between mv search tree and a b tree as well as the insertion process it will be a little difficult for you guys to understand the deletion process okay all right so with that being said let's start off with the deletion process now the deletion process is a little lengthy because there are multiple use cases so make sure you watch this video throughout the end in one single go and keep all the distractions aside put your smartphone on silent and use earphones or headphones for maximum attention and now let's start off with the deletion process all right so as you can see we have a example over here this is going to be our tree that we are going to deal with so this is a b tree with m equals to 5 m is the order of this b tree which means that it can have m children and m minus 1 keys okay right you can see the properties of b tree over here so maximum number of children equals to m which in this case is equal to 5 so we can have 5 children and the minimum number of keys that you have is m by 2 which is 5 by 2 which is of course 2.5 but you cannot have 2.5 children right you can have either 3 or 2 and we are going to take the floor value over here so it's going to be 2 the maximum number of keys in a particular node is going to be m minus 1 which is 5 minus 1 which is going to be 4 so i have written a couple of things over here for our particular b tree so the minimum number of keys that is the minimum number of values inside one particular node has to be 2 okay it cannot be less than 2 this is the property of b tree and the maximum number of keys can be 4 okay so you cannot exceed 4 as well so keep these values in mind because it is important when we are going to delete particular values because if we go below the minimum number of keys when you are deleting particular values in a particular node then we have to do a certain process okay so that's why these things are important all right so with that being said when you are deleting a particular value or key so when i say key or value i mean the same thing okay so whenever i say key it is also equal to value okay so the value is basically nothing but these numbers which are there inside these nodes all right okay okay so when you are deleting a particular key inside a particular node from this b tree there can be two main use cases the first use case is on the left hand side over here you can see number 1 that the target key is in the leaf node basically target key is the key that you want to delete so it can be either in the leaf node or the second use case can be that that the target key is an internal node okay i hope you know what is a leaf node i hope you know what is a internal node so leaf nodes are the nodes at the very end and they don't have any for the children and every other node is basically an internal node so this can be a internal node this can be an internal node right so these are the two use cases and inside these two use cases we have multiple cases which we are going to go through okay so let's start off with case 1 which is target key is in leaf node all right okay so let's say you want to delete the number 32 okay so the instruction is delete the key value 32 okay now when the target key is in the leaf node there can arise two conditions the first condition is the leaf node has more than minimum number of keys and of course the second condition is the leaf node has minimum number of keys okay it can either have more than minimum number of keys or it can have minimum number of keys so what does this mean now in all these nodes if you've observed the minimum number of keys is 2 okay no node will have less than two number of values or less than two number of keys correct so that is the minimum number of keys so if a leaf node has more than minimum number of keys the process is very simple you have to simply delete the key okay make sense so let's follow this because if you see when you want to delete 32 32 is over here so of course first you'll have to traverse to the node to be deleted right so when you traverse the tree you will go from the root node which is this you will take 32 32 is obviously less than 34 correct so you will traverse to the 
left subtree of 34 which is the left subtree of 34 it is this node which has 13 and 21 as keys correct i hope you know how to traverse b tree and the properties of b tree where you know the smaller values are towards the left subtree and the larger values are towards the right subtree and it follows the you know bst principle all these things we've already discussed right okay so coming to the left subtree again in this node you'll make a check with 13 32 is greater than 13 32 is greater than 21 so of course 32 has to be towards the right of 21 so you'll go to the right subtree of 21 and inside this comparing all these values you'll figure out 32 is over here and since this node that is this entire leaf node has how many elements you can see it has 22 23 31 and 32 so it has four elements or it has four keys basically so four is obviously greater than the minimum keys for every node in this b tree with m equals to 5 so four is greater than two obviously so since leaf node has more than minimum keys you have to simply delete this key so simply we have to erase 32 out so let's do that so what i've done is i've made a copy of this tree this is our original tree and i've just copied it over here so that we can make all the changes over here so we simply have to delete 32 so let's do that so i've simply erased 32 and there is no structural changes required because this is the easiest use case when the target key is in the leaf node and the leaf node has more than minimum keys okay all right now let's take a look at the second subtype when the target key is in the leaf node but over here you can see 1.2 when the leaf node has minimum number of keys okay so let's find out which such node exists let's take this node which has you know 14 and 15 as keys and it's a leaf node it has minimum number of keys which is 2 right we have 2 so let's try to delete 14 over here okay so now we want to delete 14 obviously you will first traverse to this node and now let's take a look at what is the process to delete a key from a leaf node which has minimum number of keys so you can do three things when you want to delete a key from a leaf node with minimum number of keys and these are the three things that you can do 1.2.1 1.2.2 and 1.2.3 let's read them out so the first step or first option states that you can borrow the largest key from the immediate left sibling provided that only if the left sibling has more than the minimum number of keys obviously then you have to transfer this key to the parent node take the parent node key from the parent node and transfer it to the target node and replace it with the target key to be deleted okay now this sounds a little difficult or complex but let's break it down step by step so first thing that you have to do is you have to borrow the largest key from the immediate left sibling so when you want to delete 14 which is this key from this node which is the immediate left sibling this is the immediate left sibling correct we have to borrow the largest key from the immediate left sibling but it is possible only if left sibling has more keys than the minimum number now left sibling also has two keys which is the minimum number of keys so obviously it cannot give one particular key over here so when you want to delete 14 you have to replace it with certain other number right so you have to take it from the either left sibling or right sibling currently 1.2.1 is not possible this option is not possible because left sibling does not have more than the minimum number of keys so this is not possible now let's take a look at option number 1.2.2 this is where you have to borrow the smallest key from the immediate right sibling so let's take a look at the right sibling so for this target key which is the right sibling this is the right sibling correct okay so how many number of keys does this right sibling have we have three which is greater than two that is the minimum keys so of course now you can borrow the smallest key from this right sibling okay so that's possible what do we have to do we have to transfer this key to the parent node the smallest key in this right sibling is 22 so 22 we have to take and we have to transfer it to the parent node so 22 will come over here then we have to take the parent node key from the parent node so parent node key is 21 right so which is the key between the target node and the right sibling so the link is 21 right 21 is in between the left child and right child 
so 22 will replace 21 okay so transfer this key to the parent node that is 22 will be replaced or 22 will be transferred over here so let me do that so 22 is transferred from the right sibling over here the 21 from the parent node will be transferred over here in this target node you can see take the parent node key from the parent node that is 21 that we just erased over here you can see it in the original tree so this 21 will now come down and it will be positioned or placed inside this node so we'll place 21 somewhere over here and it will be replaced with the target key node to be deleted of course we wanted to delete 14 right so 21 will come instead of 14 and of course you have to place it in proper order so 21 when you bring 21 down over here obviously 21 is greater than 15 so 15 will come to the left hand side and 21 will come to the right hand side so let's do that and now after doing all the entire process you can see that we have successfully deleted 14 right 14 was over here if you see in the original tree at the top when you wanted to delete 14 we asked the left sibling can it donate a particular key it can't because it has minimum number of keys so we went to the right sibling right sibling had 3 over here so we took the smallest 22 we replaced 22 with 21 that is the parent node key which comes in between the two siblings then we took 21 and we put it in the target node and replaced it with the node to be deleted which is 14 right so you can see now we only have 15 and 21 so this is case number 2 when the target key is in leaf node and the leaf node has minimum number of keys okay okay so let's move on now we just saw 1.2.1 that is this case and we also saw 1.2.2 let's discuss when the target key is in the leaf node but 1 and 2 is not possible so when is 1.2.1 and 1.2.2 not possible let's say you want to delete a particular key let's say you want to delete 15 okay let's say you want to delete 15 now in this case when you want to delete 15 which is over here in the leaf node you can see the left sibling and right sibling both cannot donate a particular key because both of them have minimum number of keys correct so 1.2.1 and 1.2.2 is not possible so in this case as a last option we have one more use case or one more option which is if 1 and 2 is not possible that is these two cases are not possible then merge with either left sibling or right sibling including the parent key then delete the target key okay so what we can do is we can either merge these two nodes and also include the parent key or we can merge the target node and its right sibling and the parent node key that comes in between okay so let me show you how it will be when we decide to merge this target node with its left sibling node okay so first of all of course this barrier will be removed correct and as we just said this 13 will also come down because you have to include the parent key which comes in between these two particular child nodes so let's write 13 over here okay so i have merged the two nodes of course 13 will be erased from here and this link will also be broken and now we can simply go and erase out 15 okay so now we have something like this but if you observe even though we deleted 15 and we have this child node with four keys which is of course the maximum number of keys it can hold you can see this internal node has only one key now remember the minimum number of keys per node has to be two so this is universally applied to all the nodes except the root node so it has to have two keys so this is violating the b tree principles so now we have to do some additional processing okay so what do we do in this case so in this case this is where the process is still not finished of delete, deleting 50 because we've given rise to a little bit of complication where we cannot have one key in this internal node we need to have two keys right so again for this particular node this particular node will see if it has a left or right sibling who can you know donate a particular key over here it does not have an immediate left sibling it has a right sibling but it has only two keys so that is also not possible so as a last resort what will happen is this particular node will essentially go to its parent node and request a proper merger between 
itself and its right sibling okay and along with this merging this 34 that is the key in the root node will also be a part of this merger okay so it's a big merger basically so what will happen now is 34 will be brought down so 34 will come over here this will be erased now remember root node can have one particular key okay the exception is that root node can have one key but all the other nodes must have at least two keys that is m by two keys okay so the exception is only for the particular root node all right so 34 has come down we have to merge this and this node okay so this is how the merger has happened and what about the children below are they in proper structural order let's see so to the left of 22 we have this node that has 10 12 13 and 21 all of them are of course smaller than 22 so they are towards the left then towards the right of 22 but left of 34 we have 23 and 31 correct so 23 is greater than 22 31 is greater than 22 but both of these values are smaller than 34 so they are towards the left of 34 similarly for 45 the left child has 41 43 44 all of them are smaller than 45 but for 34 it is the right child correct so for 34 all these values are greater than 34 so they are in the right place similarly 51 54 55 is greater than 45 but smaller than 56 so for 45 it is the right child for 56 it is the left child for 56 lastly we have the right child as 65 and 66 so all of them are now in proper order they are also now following all the b3 principles because you know all of the nodes have at least minimum keys of 2 maximum keys of 4 and maximum children as 5 correct so all the principles are followed and it is also perfectly balanced tree so that's why it is a b tree right okay so now we've covered all the different use cases for deleting a particular key which is in the leaf node now let's see when you want to delete a particular key in the non leaf node so let's see that use case okay so this is the second use case when the target key is in the internal node and not the leaf node we've covered the three different options when you want to delete a key in the leaf node now let's say the target key that is the key that we want to delete is in the internal node so which are the internal nodes this is one internal node and this is another internal node correct so let's say you want to delete 56 okay let's say you want to delete value 56 so 56 is over here so we have two options and then we have a third one when the first two doesn't work so let's see 2.1 this is where we have to take the in order predecessor which is the maximum element in the left subtree and what do we have to do with it we have to choose the largest key from the left subtree and replace it with the target key okay so which is the left subtree for 56 so this is 56 the left subtree is this and right subtree is this correct this is the lst and this is the rst so what do we have to do we have to select the maximum that is choose the largest key from the left subtree and replace it with the target key or you can also do the in order successor where you have to take the minimum element in the rst that is minimum element in the right subtree and replace it with the target key so you can go either ways but it depends upon whether the node in the left subtree that you are taking the key from has minimum number of keys or not it should have more than the minimum keys right so over here the rst that is this node has only two elements or two keys so you cannot borrow from here you cannot replace any key from here with the target key but if you observe the lst you have three keys so three is greater than two that is three is greater than the minimum number of keys so you can take a particular value and which value you have to take you have to choose the largest key from the lst so largest key is 55 right so you have to take 55 so 55 will be taken and replaced with 56 okay so let's do the replacement and see what it looks like all right so 55 came here do we have to do any structural changes not really after this replacement we still see that all the principles of b3 are followed for 55 the left subtree is 51 and 54 that is the left child and both of them are smaller than 55 and there is no other change to be made correct all right this was a simple one all right so now let's say you want to delete another internal node let's select 34 okay 34 is over here correct 
let's say you want to delete 34 for 34 the left subtree is this one and for 34 the right subtree is this one correct lst and rst now do note that if there were more levels below those levels would also be considered as the part of the left subtree okay we are not taking the largest value from the left immediate child or smallest value from the right immediate child what, what do i mean by that so if there were more nodes below those also will become a part of the entire left subtree and then we have to select the largest one from this entire left subtree okay not just the immediate left child do keep that in mind so again what do we have to do we have to choose the largest key from the left subtree so for 34 which is the left subtree we just said this is the left subtree that is this node basically is the left subtree can it give a particular key value and can we replace that key value with 34 no because this node has minimum number of keys correct so this is not possible 2.1 is not possible let's see if 2.2 is possible in 2.2 what is saying it is saying in order successor that is minimum element in the right subtree so for 34 the right subtree is this which has 41 43 and 44 which is three number of keys in this node so obviously it can give one particular key to be replaced with 34 which key do we have to take we have to take the smallest key from the right subtree so smallest one is 41 so i have to take 41 and replace it with 34 so let's quickly do that so i'm gonna erase 41 from over here i'm gonna erase 34 from over here and i'm gonna write 41 over here and we have successfully deleted 34 correct you can see 34 is erased all right now let's take a look at this third case when option 2.1 and 2.2 that is in order predecessor and in order successor is not possible what do you do okay so let's say now you want to delete 41 again okay you want to delete 41 so for 41 this is the left subtree this is the right subtree lst and rst both of them have you know minimum number of keys inside its node we have only one node in the left subtree we have only one node in the right subtree for 41 correct and both of them have minimum number of keys so they can't really uh, donate a particular key to be replaced with 41 so what do you do so in this case when 2.1 and 2.2 are not possible then merge the left and right child nodes along with the target key and then delete the target key okay this means you have to merge these two nodes along with 41 in between and then you have to delete 41 so basically 41 will come down so let's do those changes and then we'll see how the tree looks like so i'm just gonna erase 41 from over here because 41 is gonna come down i'm gonna erase this let's merge these two nodes 41 will obviously come down and then we can erase out 41 and of course there will be one link which will connect this newly created uh, merge node which has 23 31 43 and 44 and it will be the right child of 22 and left child of 45 correct so for 22 23 31 43 44 are greater so it is there to the left of 22 but for 45 it is towards the left of 45 because 23 31 43 44 are smaller than 45 correct all right so this is where option number three where you know 2.1 and 2.2 are not possible then we simply have to merge the two children and then erase out the target key value that we wanted to delete so now 41 is deleted two child nodes are merged and we still have the structure intact and all the principles of b3 are still being followed okay so we've discussed the two main use cases that is when the target key is in the leaf node and when the target key is in internal node all the process of deletion of particular keys one last particular use case which only happens when we have to reduce the entire tree height is still to be discussed and let's talk about that but before that we'll have to first delete a few keys so let's first delete a few keys and then we'll see how the height will be reduced right now the height of this tree is h equals to 2 i hope you know how to calculate height height is nothing but the longest path from the root node till the leaf node correct so you can see this is 1 and this is 2 so height is 2 all right so here's an example where you know the height reduction actually happens let's say you want to delete 22 okay so you can't do step number 2.1 or 2.2 because both the left and right child have minimum number of keys so we'll have to merge correct so you have to merge these nodes get this down and then erase this out so basically what will happen 22 will be erased and these two nodes will be 
merged correct this is easy but now of course we have another issue because this internal node cannot have you know one single key it has to have two minimum keys so it will go to its parent and see if there is any sibling that is right sibling can it give a particular key no because it also has minimum number of keys it does not have a left sibling so in this case we will have to do one more merge and the merge this time is going to be when 78 is going to come down this is the root node it will come down and merge these two siblings okay these two siblings will be merged so let me show you how it will happen 78 will come over here we already have this 75 then we have 89 and 94 correct so this one entire node will be created so to the left of 75 we have this node to the right of 75 we have this and it is also towards the left of 78 now to the right of 78 we will have this node which is also to the left of 89 correct because 86 87 88 is smaller than 89 so it has to be to the left of 89 but it is greater than 78 so it has to be to the right of 78 then towards the right of 89 we have 90 and 93 and it is also towards the left of 94 and then over here we have the rightmost value which is 98 and 99 which is to the right of 94 okay so now you can see the height has suddenly reduced but we are still following all the b tree principles so now the height has become h equals to 1 so this is that use case when the height is reduced when the root node itself is brought down to merge two siblings and create another b tree okay so all the links are perfectly fine this is still a b tree it is still perfectly balanced it is still following all the particular principles and properties of b tree and this is how the deletion is done okay guys so we've discussed pretty much all the different use cases for deleting a particular key in a b tree if you have any confusion please go back in the video pause the video uh, note down these different steps if you are making notes and keep on trying multiple deletion processes with different different m values you know take a b tree with m equals to 3 take a b tree with m equals to 4 5 6 whatever you want and you know insert certain values to the insertion process then you can do the deletion process this will give you a better understanding of how the structure changes and then you'll get more and more confidence when doing this deletion process okay guys i'm gonna wrap up this video over here i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video if you understood the entire deletion process please give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one peace